Hello, everybody. Good morning from Las Vegas. Uh, my name is Leslie Fuller, and today is my new installment of Dementia Care Encouragement. So my goal is just to be there to help give uh, those who might be caregivers for someone living with dementia, whether it be in your home or whether you work in a community setting, uh, just to give you some, to shine some light on everything that's going on right now. So today I decided that I'm going to share with you some techniques that uh, I learned both through my work at Brookdale and also through a training certification that I have through the T Snow program called Positive Approach to Care. And when you get done with all of these, if you think about it, it really is just great advice for people in general. And today I'm going to be speaking specifically about helping those who are living with dementia. And remember, our whole goal is just to help improve communications to them and on them and to help their day be as great as it possibly can. And sometimes we have to do extra thinking on our part. But once you get this figured out, it just becomes very natural. Um, I practiced this a little bit before, and then I started thinking of a hundred things I wanted to teach you, and I like, ah, just stop, just do it. So um, what I'd like to do is we're going to talk about positive physical and verbal approach. So when we are working with an individual who's living with dementia and trying to help them to maybe go someplace, to do something, or just even to interact, just to have some engagement with them, some do's and some don'ts. So I'd like to give a first teaching with good bad examples because I think it then it really shows the good examples um, and how that can uh, it, it really sh shows the difference between the two Cindy hey Cindy okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with some of well you tell me whether it, whether it's a good or a bad right so I'm gonna pretend you are sitting in a chair and you are the person living with dementia and I'm going to come in and be super friendly and nice to you okay ready Come in. Hey, sweetie. How you doing today? Oh my gosh, you're looking so good. You look so cute today. Hey, tell you what, we're going to have um, bacon and eggs today. So let's go. Okay, ready? Okay, let me pull your pair. Sure. All right. There you go. Okay, come on. Let's come on. Let's go. Oh, good job. Come on. All right. So. That was a whole bunch of no-nos, honestly. Um, now, I was super friendly and I was nice and I was genuine and I really did want to help this individual, whoever it happened to be. But some of the things that I did and that people can tend to do when helping someone with dementia, because they get it in their head that they don't know anything or they're stupid or we treat them like a child. None of those are appropriate. Um, so one of the first things I did was I approached very quickly. Someone who has dementia needs a little bit of time to grasp what the situation is and what's going on. So I really did rush up too fast. Um, a lot of times, did you notice I stood up and looked down? Okay, how would you like, just if you're sitting there right now, just look up. Just imagine having to spend your whole day looking up at everybody to hear what's going on, to engage what's going on. Um, it's just, uh, it helps us put us on the same page if we are at eye level, okay? Another thing, too, is that as dementia progresses, vision becomes a little bit more um, tunnel visioned, okay? And so they're really not able to take in what's around them. It's more what's right in front of them. So if I'm like this right in front of you, I don't know about you, but that's a little intimidating to me just being there, right? And if I came up very quickly and I'm really close to them, I'm in their personal space. And the fact is they may not know who I am. Right? You could have been with them every day for the last two years, but they may not remember who you are. Okay. You are intimidating from a caregiver standpoint. Sometimes um, with AIDS, if they're coming up, we, we see AIDS getting maybe hit or kicked. It's what they're doing is they're coming right in on them directly in front of them. Okay, can be intimidating. If I had somebody do that in public, I might push them away, right? So that's pretty standard. Um, also, one of the things I did, um, I tried to over, uh, to accentuate a little bit, but is talking baby talk or sweet talk. Um, calling somebody sweetie, uh, sweetie, honey, baby. Um, let's respect them as 
the adult that they are with the life experience they are. Keep in mind, you know, they may have forgotten a lot of things, but their name is part of their identity. We can't, we need to help them maintain their identity. So try to use their name or whatever name is meaningful to them to, to engage with them, to actually set that tone, set the relationship and slow down a little bit. Sometimes we get so caught up in the, well, we've got to get the shower done. We've got to get this done so we can go here to do this, to do that. And that speed isn't going to serve you any good or serve them any good. So we need to slow down just a little bit in our approach. Also, um, part of what I talked about a little earlier, when we're right in front of them, what we can, do, well, here, I'll say, I'll say for the good example, okay? So um, also, I just said, hey, we've got breakfast for you. Come on, let's go. No choice. Did I even ask her if she would like some breakfast? Hey, good morning. Would you like something to eat? Um, I gave no choice. I basically just said, hey, guess what? I'm here and this is what's going on. Do what I say. Pretty much how I came across. So what I'd like to do now is I'm going to give an example of some of the things we need to be very aware of as having our exchanges um, with individuals. And if you look at this, there's just an awful lot of respect built into this. Really, that's uh, that's the key um, key element here. So let me try this. Okay. Um, put my chair right here. All right. I'm in from the other room. I see you're sitting. Hey, mom. Hey, good morning. Oh, I love seeing you. Mm. Oh. So good to see you this morning. I thought maybe you would like a cup of coffee this morning. Would you care for one? Care to have one with me? Okay, I thought so. You know, I had a dream about you last night. I dreamt about all those pancakes and bacon that you made for us on Sunday mornings when we were kids. Yeah, I know. I know there were 10 of us that was pancakes, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm hmm. I don't know how you did it, Mom. How'd you raise those kids and all those meals we put together? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna treat you this morning. How about? I would love to. What would? What do you think? Would you rather have eggs or would you like pancakes for breakfast? Okay. Eggs it is. And uh, do I remember you prefer over easy eggs? Okay. Okay. Great. All right. Um. I would love for you to come in the kitchen with me and keep me company while I'm making those. Would you do that? Okay. All right. I'm going to. Okay. Ready? I'll be count. Lean forward. One, two, three. You got your balance? All right. Okay. Let's go. All right. Kind of hard having another person here to do that example with, but several different things. When you're looking at positive physical approach and verbal approach. From a physical standpoint, remember these key things. First, start, I started from back behind, okay? I kind of got her used to me coming up instead of just darting in. Or you can imagine this if I come from the side and say, hey, how you doing? It's like, whoa, wait a minute. So come from the front, come a little bit slow, come with a smile on your face, and then when I sat down, if you'll notice, I sat to the side. Doesn't this, isn't this a lot less intimidating than this? Okay, so sit to the side a little bit. I smiled, I made eye contact. I was in the moment with her, 100%. That was our moment together, okay? I'm not just distracted and going, yeah, come on, but be in the moment, all right? And then verbally what I did, was I, I engaged first. I kind of set the tone as to what we were talking about. I had just some social grace, some interaction with her about what my dream was and how great her food was. I kind of made it about her for a little bit first and then kind of fade into, okay, well, let's have the have some breakfast, but I'd like your, I'd like your input. I want you to be a part of this. I, I'm not just doing to you. We're going to be in this together. So part of verbal is, um, and sometimes you, part of it is also introducing yourself too. Now with my mother, I didn't think to say it's Leslie. 
but you might need to do that at some point. You might need to say, hey, mom, it's Leslie. Good morning. Good to see you. Okay. If she's reached a point where maybe she doesn't remember you and don't be fearful of that. It may happen, but it's just your job to help her make that connection again. Okay. So introduce yourself, uh, have some engagement, some genuine engagement, give choice, let her know what we're going to do. And then don't pull somebody up out of a chair. <laughs> uh, I'll do another I'll do another uh, video here in the next couple of days about maybe helping somebody stand up I've got to have um, probably Jeff here with me or um, someone but um, don't just pull them up like that um, or actually do you know what I'll do is at the end of the video I'm going to tag um, Tipa Snow has a um, a Yoop page uh, subs that you can subscribe to and she has oh gosh I don't know how many Tipa has on there probably about, oh 20 20 or more videos um, on different techniques and skills and knowledge to help you help those who are living with dementia. Um, she's a great teacher, really enjoy teaching some of her methods. Uh, so you can have full classroom um, examples on there as well, too. Anyway, um, what else? Um, I talked about the in front, no choice, no interactions, Dan. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So just think about when I teach this in a class, I like to remind people, if you're in a grocery store, have you ever gone through a checkout stand and the person that's checking your groceries never makes eye contact with you, they never say anything to you, they just scan your items, they may say that's $10.52, but that's about it, and then you move on. And you kind of leave that interaction feeling like, Wow, okay, that was, you, you might think that was rude. You might think she must be having a bad day, or you might just meet, leave kind of not feeling great. But think about those cashiers that when you come up, they genuinely seem glad to have you there. They look you in the eye, they say, Well, good afternoon. You say, Well, hi, Sarah. How are you today? Well, I'm doing great today. How are you? And maybe as she's going through, she says, Oh, I are these grapes really good? I haven't tried these yet, whatever it is. Um, just that engagement that you have as a real human being. I think we're all kind of missing a little bit of that right now too, right? Um, but then at the end of all that, when she says, well, you have a nice day and you say, you too. And then you walk out the door and you might even wave and say something nice to the person you pass on the way out. It changes the whole demeanor. You have so much power to help the mood of those you're around and those who are living and helping them by helping them to be in a good place. Um, so much of that has to do with helping them truly to feel needed, to feel wanted, to feel they have purpose, to feel that they still matter. Um, all the emotions that go behind all that are still there. They're still very genuine. Uh, and if we can tap into those and help make those positive things, uh, it's it's gonna make every Day, but everybody's day better. Let's see what comments do I have here. I like that. Be in the moment. There you go, Cindy. So anyway, I'm going to head out for today. Uh, Cindy, great to see you. Anybody else, please uh, feel free to share this with anybody you know who is in that situation or might know somebody. And uh, I wish you all the best. Stay healthy. Wash your hands. Um, send love to somebody that you haven't talked to in a while. Anyway, take care, everybody. Bye-bye.